Hello everybody and welcome back to another build update video and you're gonna have to bear with me I'm kind of losing my voice but the show must go on and we're starting off with a brand new project we're working on the Iron Hills and I'm here in the great mines of the holes where the dwarves would have spent about a thousand years mining for iron to create the great dwarven robes of Mirkwood but let's just jump straight into it then and show off what the Iron Halls has to offer so for the many of you that are wondering what the Iron Hills are, they are a range of mountains in Middle Earth, in the northeastern part. The hills are east to the Lonely Mountain, which is of course the home of Erebor and the late Dweller Smaug. The dwarves belong to the house of the Longbeards, known as Durin's folk. The dwarves originally lived in the northern Grey Mountains, but they were constantly pestered by dragons. Once the King Dane was slain by one of the dragons, his surviving son led an exodus to the east. His eldest son, Thorin, led an exodus into the east, taking settlement of Erebor, while his younger brother, Gorl, led his people further east into the settlement along the Iron Hills. It is possible, although not canon, that these dwarves from the Iron Hills fought the Battle of Dao against the Easterlings during the War of the Ring. Tolkien never actually stated this specifically, however, because their empire is so close to the Iron Hills, it's possible. Credit here mostly has to go to Gaelic, he made about 90% of it. Um, Gaelic is one of our amazing artists and he did also get help from other builders uh, to include a few Olic, FJ and Anzorg. But wait, there's more! So the Iron Halls with the Dwarven aesthetics is the only thing the Epic West team has been working on. We've also finally started work on Rivendell, which should require no introduction. If you've seen any Lord of the Rings films or read any of the books, Hobbit films or books, then it requires literally no introduction at all and I'm sure you've heard about it and considering if you're watching this video, chances are you do. Her Rivendell has only started been working on in its early phases, the terrain has taken formation and the planning on where all the elven towers should be situated has started. At the moment it's just a shell, in a couple of weeks time hopefully we'll have something fully fleshed out to show you guys. So for those wondering what it looks like without any shade is I've turned them off and we're actually just going to walk around in normal Minecraft showing it off, uh, no flying here, we're just going to try and run up all of these stairs all the way to the top, it just gives us a sense of scale to how big these places. Um, this is just a platform at the moment uh, that will actually be removed and over down here links on to, um, oh gosh I'm trying to think where that links on to. I don't actually think it does link on to Mirkwood at all, but um, what we have over here that links on to the other staircase. Um, if anyone can tell me where it links on to that I'd actually like to know, I'm trying to think, I can't for the life of me think of where it links on to, but we've got the entrance here, and we've got some get out flags. First flag! I think this is all set up for the Empire War server, the siege to take place in the already. Okay, so this is amazing, this entrance hall here, this is absolutely incredible. And if we go over this way, I believe, oh no, wrong way, but if we go over this way, we have the mines where I started in the first video. I actually just want to show that off, but we can actually have a chance to show that off at all. So we're just going to jump down here, and we have the mines. Very, very cool. We're on our way here and we're going to go into the dining hall. Uh, this has got all of the staff members, um, members who are vet uh, of the Epic Quest team and veterans all have a seat situated along here somewhere and they've kindly given me a seat as well. Um, I'll be a bit upset if I didn't get a seat so I don't want to show them all off but some of them there isn't actually a name yet but um, Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> 2016 US President candidate, maybe. If you're watching in the future, then maybe you could tell us if he actually won. I hope not, but I don't want to be political on this show. Um, and then we have loads of other people here. Uh, people that you may recognise, um, maybe you see your name somewhere along here. Um, but we're just going to show the great table off here. The main members. Um, just quickly show everyone off at the table. And, you know, made 90% of it so it's only right that he should get the biggest seat and loads of the build team here. But my seat, the most important one, got Tim and myself 
so I will sit here on my table next to Diner Pickle and Speedy Cheese. Uh, some people may remember them from the older Epic Quest videos. Unfortunately, none of them make videos with me anymore. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. A uh, little bit more to show off in this build update. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to give it a like and tell me what could be done better or what you just enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.